No. No. Go! Go girl! So I'm making dinner, uh, worked all day, Jen and I did, uh, self-defense class got canceled because uh, we had a snowstorm and the roads were getting pretty slick, decided not to let our students risk the drive, so me and Jen are just hanging out tonight, we're having dinner, might actually go to the gym and do some lifting, we'll see. Tonight we are having marinated steaks, rice, and broccoli. It's 7.45 at night, and we're starting this vlog now. So, might actually run this a couple days. Internet got hooked up, so the vlog got posted. So let's start this vlog. out of work, got home, made dinner. We are having breakfast. I made sausage, bacon, pancakes, and what my mother called egg and nests. Just basically a piece of toast, toasted on the stove top with like an egg cooked into it. It's delicious. I haven't had one in a while so I decided to make one tonight. So we're going to eat, then we have training later, I got to go pick up the other coach, I got to text him to make sure, and then we're back home, just hanging out. Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Thursday. Uh, this is where I'm going to end this vlog, so you're going to follow us today, and I'm going to edit tonight and upload. So tonight we are having a pork tenderloin with mac and cheese. It is a white cheddar shell mac and cheese. It is delicious and we have it probably once or twice a month. It's delicious. Jen's not a big fan of pork. So kind of did a plain non-marinated one and bought that and then I put teriyaki on it that we had left over and I peppered it a little bit. We'll see how that is. Dinner has 25 more minutes. We're gonna eat and then we have yoga at 6.30 to 7.30. We'll be back home and we are going to do a couple things on the list. Like I've gotta go upstairs and I have to hang the hooks to put the uh, motorcycle helmets on. I gotta get those hung so those get off the floor. I gotta grab my helmet and I have to put the ghost camera on it and get that wired up. Just really anxious to do that. I'm really excited to do that. I know it's not even close to riding season, but I'm excited to have the camera and get it on my helmet. Right now we are going over like smoothie recipes because I, <laughs> I've got a lot to talk about my past with you guys. I gotta, I gotta figure out when I'm gonna like, just do like a straight side video maybe of like my history. Kind of just bringing you in to like, kind of just started off where I am at life now and never really talked about any of my past. 
I think I'm going to end up having to do that pretty soon. I wanted to wait until, like, to see how this was going to go. But I'm done waiting. I'm going to do that video probably this weekend. Probably just sit down and uh, might end up having to break it up in a couple different videos. If I'm doing them like 10 minutes long or so. We'll see. But anyways, getting back to what we were saying. is We're looking at recipes for smoothies. Kind of detox, weight loss, cleanse. I have a... I have a goal in mind that I would like to reach before I turn 28. <laughs> I've only got... Today, I've got... Six more months. I got six months to be... That's my goal. I'm declaring it right now, right here with you guys. Six months, I want to be back to being in better shape than I ever was before all my recent <laughs> medical problems. Get back into it. That's it. That's what, that's what I want. Six months. To be not, not where I was, but better than I was. I gotta get on that grind. It's, uh, it's gonna be hard. We're extremely busy. Me and Jen were, have been together for seven months as of yesterday. It's been awesome. It's been great. But we've been one hell of a busy couple since we got together. She took on a lot <laughs> with dating me. Um, she seems happy. <laughs> I hope she is. Um, but she moved up here from Florida two, two and a half years before you met me. Mm -hmm. And... Be three years in April. Hung out with her friends a little bit and did work. Just worked. And since she's been dating me, she's been on the go. I'm a, I have a very busy life. She works, I work, but then I do coaching with the MMA. A lot of stuff comes up that needs to get done. Some things that could probably help us, but right now we got to deal with it. But now that we're moved in together and things are going great, hopefully some things work out to where our time frees up, to where we can start getting in the gym. I'm all for getting into the gym in the mornings. Jen does not want to wake up that early. Shaking her head no right now. She does not want to get up that early. Let's just say at one point, I was in the gym for 17 hours a week with working a 40-hour job. I was... Not in the best cardio shape of my life, but the best physical shape of my life with good cardio. Lifting weights, CrossFit, and MMA, divided those up 17 hours a week, and I did pretty well. And then I broke my leg, and seeing I couldn't do CrossFit or MMA anymore, I was on crutches in the gym lifting. Same thing though with the motorcycle accident. I went down on the motorcycle my first when I had the crotch rocket, broke my shoulder for the fourth time in my life, nonetheless, and got back on that bike after all the parts came in from buying them and getting them shipped, getting them installed. Back on that bike with a broken shoulder a week and a half after I went down. <clears throat> what I love to do, I don't let injuries stop me. That's where pain is temporary, victory is forever comes from. L long before that, but it's been a model that I've lived by. That was when I was, what, 19? Four years before that, the model of pain is temporary, victory is forever started coming into play. And at 15, that's where my story is going to start. 
that's where the video that I'm doing this weekend is going to explain. There's a lot of people in my life that I wouldn't be where I am now without. One of them, I know you're watching right now. I appreciate it. I love you. And I'm happy you're in my life. The other is my grandmother. She passed away in 08. One of the hardest people to lose in my life. And I know there will be more as I get older and grow older. But from time now, my grandmother is the hardest person to lose so far. I'm a very family-oriented guy. Love my mother. Love my sister. Love my brother. Love my dad and my half-sister. And all the family that comes along with them. My aunts, my uncles, my cousins. Love them all. And I wouldn't be where I am now without them. There's no doubt about that. To prove some of them wrong. And to show them who I truly am. Was a big part of what of what got me through my medical problems and to all you my family who are watching you know I thank you and you know I love you I'm kind of ranting right now but to be honest with you there's just some things that need to be said some of them I'm not gonna say now some things that I'm going to be saying in upcoming videos. So stay tuned. So getting back on track to tonight, we're gonna eat dinner, go to yoga, get home, hang out with our dog, and do some housework that needs to be done. Mm -mm. So now we're back home, just got done with yoga. We have to head upstairs, get some work done. I also have some other things to do, like whoever installed the sprayer hose on the kitchen sink ran the hose along the side that the valve is on so when we try to use the hose sometimes it gets caught on it and I have to get underneath there unhook the hose and run it on the other side so we don't have that issue anymore also some other things like I want to finish I still have to finish building that corner table uh, there's another thing or two on the list that needs to be done, but for now, those are the two ones that come to mind that need to get done. Right now, we're going to go upstairs and hang the helmets. So we're up here in the entertainment room. Just a small room. So it's just got the glass shelving, TV hung, and the liquor and some other stuff on there right now. You can see the TV hung there. Just a little liquor. We are hanging the helmets right here. And this is what it looks like now. She misses the bike, misses using that helmet. Can't wait until it gets riding season again. So what you're about to see is a bare wall go to a helmet filled wall. Watch this. Wasn't that sick? Now that that's all done, we're going to call it a night. I'm going to finish editing now and hang out for a little bit and then go to bed. Friday's tomorrow. we we'll start off the weekend right. After work. So... This is where we're going to end the vlog. So have a good night. And remember, pain is temporary. Victory is forever. Later.